Hello my fellow riders, this is Chris at Ride and Reviews and today we're going to look at how to clean your motorbike. Now as you can see from some of our previous videos, I have actually done a video on this very bike and it was about a month ago so this is the first service um, and look at the state of it, it's pretty dirty. So I thought, um, being as we get it quite often, that people don't know exactly how to clean their bike and they're a little bit scared of getting the electrics wet, I thought I would, uh, I would show you how to do it. So firstly, you just got any general purpose degreasing spray. Um, I think this is called truck stop or something like that. It's just quite a high quality one. So the first thing you do is just spray it everywhere. Get a nice, nice coat in over the whole thing. Make sure you get it all around the wheels. Inside on the suspension up the back. All around the tyres. You're going to clean this all off, so don't worry about any of the residue on the tyres. Just get it everywhere, it's not going to damage any of the paintwork or the seat or anything like that. Quite often the main reason exhaust rust is because they've got dirt and salt and stuff on it. So the best thing to do is, especially in winter, is just clean all that sort of stuff off. All the electrics for the bike are up here. So as long as you're always squirting down and never up, you should never have a problem with um, getting your electrics, a problem with getting your electrics wet. That's why I would also suggest that you never use um, a jet wash on a motorbike. So I'd also suggest you get yourself a good quality sponge and a nice brush. So go around and just make sure it's all rubbed in. It's just to get rid of that big uh, and stubborn stuck on stuff. Generally with the wheels, you might have to, uh, the older the bike is, you may have to put quite a lot near the chain um, so that you can get rid of all that stubborn grease and grime that comes off the chain itself. So as you go around, let's give it a little bit of a squirt. At least then you can see where the mud's stuck. I generally use these sort of brushes just for the wheels and then you can go around with a sponge for the rest of it. I don't think the size is very good.
obviously you guys are going to take a lot more care and affection and all that on doing this I'm just showing you the premise you can get in there with uh, nail brushes and all that sort of stuff And get your sponge, put some more degreaser on that. Trying to get into all those little nooks and crannies.
As you can see, it looks like quite a lot nicer, uh, quite a lot cleaner. Now, once the bike is dried, you can use something called ACF 50. Now, this is like a, um, to stop the dirt getting into places. You can spray this on your, on your rims, but make sure you don't get any on your tires. Make sure you don't get any on your brake pads or your chain. You don't need any on your seat, so just spray it on the, on the plastics, a little bit down there, on the engine. It's not gonna do much good on the exhaust because it'll get burnt off. All down here, all along here, you can put it. But most importantly, don't put it on your brake discs. And don't go nuts. You're only supposed to put a little speckle of it on. Also, you can use tire shine. That's just really for the side walls. You don't want to put it on your um, across the centre of the tires because it will just make you slip all over the place, and you don't want that. Before you put it away, the best thing to do is leave it out in the sun to dry for a bit. You don't really want to be putting a cover over a wet bike. All that will do is help it rust, and you don't want it to do that. So if you've liked my video, please comment below, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated to all my latest content. But as always, ride safe.